What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Today, I'm going to walk you through how I set up a brand new bait caster straight out of the box. Today, I've got a Shimano Corrado 150 MGL. This is a reel I actually got for Christmas. So, straight out of the box. Get all this paperwork out of the way. Nobody needs it. Get this reel out of bubble wrap. Set that to the side. This is her. It's a great little reel. Pretty affordable. Comes in about a 180, 190 price range. Um, super smooth. Anyway, enough about that and talk hours on the Corrado NGL. So, straight out of the package, I'm going to walk you through what I look at at a baitcaster I just got. So, first off, you've got a drag tension knob right here on the handle. This right here. Clockwise is going to increase your drag, and all that's doing is um, tension it up the spool to let out more or less pressure of when when a fish is pulling your line. So the the tighter you turn this, the less likely that line is going to be stripped. And it, it's not hurting the reel or anything, but it's just letting letting line out. And if if you're fishing wider line, treble hooks, you know I'll loosen this up a little bit so. Those fish can kind of have some play, and, and when they start really surging and stuff like that, your line will come off smoothly, and you won't you won't break off or tear a hole in the fish's mouth or anything like that. So the next knob you've got is the uh, tension knob, and this is on how fast the line how, or how fast the spool is gonna spin. This matters when you're casting. The whatever bait it is you're going to use. And this reel actually has two brake systems on it. Some reels only have one. This one has, has two. So you've got a tension knob. Then for the brake systems, you've got an external brake system. It's got little numbers on it. Then inside the reel, I've got an internal brake system as well. So first, let's talk about the external brake system. It's going to come with numbers. If your if your reel has got it, it's going to come like this one is one through five, I believe. Five. I'm sorry, six. This one's actually one through six. Six being the spool is not going to turn as fast at all. One is extremely loose. So, most of the time, when I first get my reel, I'm going to set it somewhere around the middle or a little higher, just so I can get used to that reel. So, this is one through six. I'm going to put it at four, just to, just to start out until I get comfortable with the reel, and, get, and depending on what bait I'm throwing, how heavy it is, or... If I'm throwing in the wind or anything like that. So the next thing is your internal brake system. And if you can see, I've got all these little tabs in here, little, little clear plastic tabs. And what these are are, are brakes. And you click them in for if you want that brake to be on or out if you don't want that brake. And come right out of the box, they've got three brakes turned on and three brakes off. I like to leave it just like that. So you've got, you've, you split them 50-50 with brakes on and brakes off. And that is also going to help with overruns, you know, how fast that spool is turning versus line coming out. You never want to start out with all these brakes turned off. I promise you're going to have a bad day and you're going to have a bunch of backlashes. It's not going to be a good experience at all. So if, if you get your reel and 
it's not turned on, go in and turn half of them on, half of them off. You close that guy back up. And you're just about ready to go. The only thing else I do is, is once I get this reel on the rod and I select what bait it is I'm going to throw, that's when I'll go to this tension knob. And for the first handful of cast, I like to tighten this knob on, you know, pretty tight where once you, once you click the button, I don't want that bait to go flying to the bottom. I want it to just slowly come off, not, you know, barely coming off, but I want it to come off pretty freely. It, it's hard to explain. It's really a feel thing. And you're going to, you're going to understand that once you actually get it in your hand and try this out. But I tighten that up just a little bit so that my bait, like I said, isn't just freely coming off the rod just super, super fast. Then once I get used to that bait in whatever conditions it is I'm throwing, I'll slowly start to back this guy off. And same thing with my external brakes. If I'm throwing like a big deep diving crankbait that's, that's really heavy, I'm going to start backing this guy off because I really want to be able to bomb that bait out there. But if I'm throwing something really light, like a small crankbait or a, a fluke or something along those lines, you're going to want these brakes turned, turned on a little bit higher because it's a lighter bait and you, want your, you don't want your spool turning faster than your line's going out. So that's just a few of my tips on what I like to do when I first get my bait casters. And just remember, you get, you're going to have to play around with this, but always start out with your brake systems turned up more than normal until you get used to that reel and the bait. The last thing that I like to look for is the gear oil. Now, this, some... Some companies don't include this with their reels. Shimano does in all of their reels. And what this is for is on the bottom of your bait casters, if you flip it upside down, where the eye slides back and forth when, you, when you're reeling it, it's got a little track right there. And what I do every, I usually do mine in, in the wintertime before tournament season starts, is I will take, this uh, gear oil and put just a couple drops in that track all you do is just reel it and spread that that oil around and this is going to keep your reel in perfect shape it's going to last longer you're going to reel smoother it's just going to maintain that reel just like it was when you first got it so remember that so thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe to this video, and I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you.